Good morning. My name is Dr. Robert Groisman from COVIDinstitute.org. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Let's talk bees. Not the buzzing kind, but the vitamin kind. What is a vitamin? A vitamin is defined as a vital amine. Uh, originally, that's where the name comes from. It has to be essential and required for normal human growth and it's required to be obtained from the diet and cannot be manufactured within the human body. Let's talk about uh, the B vitamins. There are eight essential B vitamins, B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12. They are all water soluble. They're not stored in the body for very long. In medical school, we learned that they weren't stored at all. However, there is some storage um, that can last for a few weeks uh, that, that occurs with some of the B vitamins. So um, they do need to be taken every day in order to have enough for, um, for our use. So let's look at, um, at the B vitamins. Uh, B1 is thiamine. It, um, I should also mention that the B vitamins are related by their name, but not by structure. Uh, they, they're all um, somewhat different. And all of them are involved uh, as cofactors or coenzymes uh, in helping your body accomplish certain things. So uh, going back to B1, which is thiamine, uh, that helps your body convert uh, nutrients into energy. If you're deficient in it, um, you will suffer from fatigue, poor memory, irritability, loss of appetite, sleep issues, abdominal discomfort, and weight loss. You can also have neuropathy, such as pins and needles uh, in your toes, burning sensation in your feet, um, cramps, things like that. Muscles can become weak and atrophy. Now, this is more for severe type um, deficiencies. Uh, glucose, any sugar can worsen a B1 deficiency. B1 is needed to process glucose. That's where the energy part comes in. Okay, so let's look at B2. It's riboflavin. And again, look at that, food into energy. It also acts as an antioxidant. If you have a deficiency of B2, uh, you may suffer from cracked lips, dry itchy skin, inflammation of the lining of your mouth or tongue, ulcerations, red lips, sore throat, things like that. Um, some people can suffer from iron deficiency, anemia, and light sensitivity. There is no um, documented cases of having too much B1 or B2, even with supplementation. B3 is niacin, uh, also known as nicotinic acid. Uh, it was changed to niacin because nicotinic was too close sounding to nicotine, which was perceived as bad. So it was changed to niacin. Um, it's responsible for cellular signaling, uh, metabolism, and DNA production and repair. B3 needs tryptophan. We talked about serotonin. Um, which is what uh, tryptophan can become. Uh, tryptophan can also become melatonin, but uh, you, need tr you need to have tryptophan absorption and tryptophan in your body in order to, um, to process B3. Symptoms of niacin deficiency would be diarrhea, dermatitis, uh, and dementia. Uh, and that's actually known as pellagra, or the 3D disease, and also light sensitivity. Taking too much niacin or too quickly can lead to skin flushing. Uh, B5, pentothoic acid, again, energy. Uh, it's involved in hormone production and cholesterol production. Um, you'll see kind of a, a repeating pattern here over and over again with the B vitamins. Uh, Having a deficiency in B5 can lead to numbness and burning in the hands and feet, headaches, tiredness, irritability, restlessness, sleep problems, um, stomach pain or abdominal pain, heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and loss of appetite. There's been no reported cases of uh, B5 toxicity. 
Now, B6 is a special one. B6, um, pyridoxine, um, uh, is an amino acid. Um, it helps with red blood cell production, which is why sometimes uh, with B6 deficiencies, we see anemia. With deficiencies, besides anemia, you can also see seizures, mental status changes, rashes, and glossitis, which is um, inflammation of the tongue, where it becomes big or painful. Um, B6 is one of those few ones where you can see a problem with deficiency and toxicity. So B6 can cause problems with neuropathies and photosensitivity and nausea, both with deficiency and with having too much B6. Now, if you're having um, excess or toxicity uh, from B6 and you're not supplementing, where's the B6 coming from, right? So like I said, it's, it's, it's essential. It's an essential um, vitamin and normally it's stored in muscle. And if you have periods of dehydration uh, from your body standpoint, not just feeling thirsty or dehydrated, but from your body standpoint, some of the B6 can be pushed into your nerves. And when it's pushed into your nerves, it can become toxic there and cause the neuropathies. Um, early treatment um, is recommended to avoid a permanent um, nerve damage. B7, biotin. Uh, this one has been mentioned uh, many times for, for hair loss or hair health and nails. Um, deficiencies can also present themselves with a rash on your face. There's been no documented cases to, of toxicity. B9, which is known as folate, uh, responsible for cell growth. Um, amino acid metabolism and formation of red and white blood cells, and it's responsible for proper cell division. Deficiencies here can lead to fatigue, weakness, mouth sores, and neurologic issues. It's important to know that um, B9 can potentially mask B12 deficiency. If you have excess B9, it can mask uh, B12 being low. Uh, moving on to B12, cobalamin, um, neurologic functions, uh, DNA production, and red cell development, very, very important. If you have a deficiency here, you can, you can have extreme tiredness or extreme fatigue, lack of energy, lethargy, breathlessness, feeling faint, headaches, pale skin, uh, palpitations, um, hearing sounds from coming from inside the body rather than from the outside. So um, essentially, tinnitus um, can be caused by a B12 deficiency. There's been no documented cases of toxicity from B12. Now, uh, we've talked about um, the eight essential Bs, but there's a couple of numbers missing, if you notice. Uh, B4, B8, B10, and B11. Uh, these were once considered vitamins, B vitamins, but... Um, they're no longer considered essential, and they could be manufactured by the body, so they're no longer considered uh, B vitamins. But I thought I'd place them here so you, you'd know it for history's sake. Um, B4 is adenine. Uh, B8 is inositol, which is a sugar. Um, B10 is PABA. And B11 is salicylic acid, which is often used on skin, um, to kind of slough off the old, old uh, dead skin cells. There's a couple of others that are considered unofficial B vitamins. Again, they're not essential, nor they, um, nor do you need to take them in from outside in order for your body to make them. B13, orotate. B14, betaine. B15, B16, and B17. Uh, amygdalin, and lastly, B18, choline. I hope this um, was educational and helpful. Again, don't forget uh, to subscribe and uh, like my videos. That will encourage me to make additional. Thank you so much, and have a great day.